Dear Mrs. Sum, uh, dear Mr. Chairman Winterkehrs, ladies and gentlemen, uh, before today's digital conference comes to an end, I too wish you a warm welcome. Cybersecurity is a fundamentally important issue. Cybersecurity has many dimensions. It concerns every one of us, our society, the economy, the national security, and the safety of the international and global community. The latest cyber attacks on Ukrainian energy providers and government IT systems are an alarming example. Nowadays, cyber attacks, cyber security, and cyber defense can be a matter of war or peace. Germany took over the G7 presidency at the start of uh, 2022 alongside climate change and the coronavirus, cybersecurity is on top of the agenda, and that is really necessary. Cybersecurity has to be a top priority in global politics. It has to be also a top priority for every single state. This includes national cyber defense abilities and the protection of critical infrastructures like hospitals, water and energy supply, or telecommunication. I think we must make a greater effort to this in this area. Cybersecurity also has a huge impact on our societies. A digital world with almost no borders offers a lot of opportunities, but is, it is also vulnerable. Cyber attacks can lead also to civilian victims and may even destabilize, destabilize society. For instance, due to breach of public order, fake news, supply shortages, loss of life critical medical devices in hospitals. Cybersecurity also has an economical dimension. On top of that, cyber attacks are a real and often underestimated danger to companies. According to a recent corporate risk survey, cyber incidents are the number one concern to large companies. The number one concern. Ransomware and other disruptive forms of cyber attacks continue to put a strain on businesses worldwide. Experts estimate that cyber attacks caused a worldwide financial damage to businesses in the amount of six trillion dollars in 2021. Until the year 2025, financial damages are expected to rise to over 10 trillion dollars. Any company can be the target of cyber criminals, big, middle-sized and small uh, businesses alike. Up-to-date cybersecurity technology and backups are essential to every business. However, a big risk for businesses with regard to cybersecurity are also their own employees. Cyber criminals increasingly try, try to target employees with methods like phishing or CO fraud. Therefore, it is very important to make sure that all employees are aware of possible cyber attacks. Every state has the responsibility to optimize their anti-cyber crime structures. The Bavarian Ministry of Justice and our public prosecutors made the fight against cyber crime a top priority. In 2015, we established a central cyber crime unit it is a highly specialized unit which is responsible for investigating severe cyber crimes all over Bavaria. The Bavarian prosecutors closely cooperate with different national and international partners, for example, with Europol, Eurojust, Interpol. Bavaria is uh, part of the national and international cyber security infra infrastructure. I would like to take the opportunity to thank our partners for the good cooperation. Thank you very much. 
cyber attacks endanger our privacy, our wealth, our democracy, and our, our safety. Companies and the government need to act with determination, combating cybercrime. Cyber defense and cyber security are an ongoing challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, today's conference proves once again that Munich is an important location for the cyber crime, sorry, for the cyber security community. I would like to thank all speakers for their participation and all our guests for their interest. In addition, thank you to all companies, institutions and partners of the Security Network Munich. My special thanks to Mr. Wintergerst for organizing the, this um, event. I'm looking forward to seeing all of you again personally, and I wish you all an in, enjoyable evening. Thank you very much.